Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use a polarized capacitor or we can say that an electrolytic capacitor as a filter within the Tinkercad. Tinkercad is an online simulator and we all know that the capacitors can be like a, a low pass or a high pass filter when it is connected in specific orientation. So first of all we need to write Tinkercad. So this is our Tinkercad.com website so click on that. And now we can see this create button on the right hand side. Click on that and click on circuits. And now we got our circuit window. Here first of all we have to take function generator. Like uh, we can say that we, we have to generate certain signals like uh, square pulse, sine wave and triangular waves etc. So now this is our function generator and we will also take one LED because we want to observe the output on the LED and oscilloscope. So this is our LED. Now we will take our uh, electrolytic capacitor or we will just write capacitor and uh, we will get this electrolytic capacitor. It is a polar capacitor with two sides, one is negative and one is positive. You can see that there is a strip on the left hand side of this capacitor and this strip indicates that this is a, a negative side or negative pin of the capacitor. So now we will also take one push switch, push button or oh sorry uh, slide switch, slide switch. This is our slide switch and now we will go and we will take our a negative terminal of the function generator. Now this is, this has been done. We can change its color to black and what about the positive side? Positive side must be connected with the other end of the function generator like this okay we can connect this electrolytic capacitor with the uh, in parallel with this LED so now we will connect this this negative side this with the negative side of the function generator like this and positive side with the common pin of the slide switch and other end of the slide switch must be in contact with the positive with the positive of the LED. Like this. Now one more thing that uh, we also need oscilloscope for to, because we, 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 we just want to observe the output on the oscilloscope. So here we will connect it with the with the anode terminal of the LED. And negative side with the cathode terminal of the LED. like this we can change its color to black now we will start our okay here we have applied the one kilohertz wave which is of square type we can change it to sine wave as well okay and uh, we can change the times per division 
so it is 100 milliseconds we can go for microseconds and here we can see and then milliseconds okay let me again run it out okay so okay let, let me choose the microseconds now you can see that we got okay we are just getting this thing it is 5 volt and 2.5 yes now now this is our proper sine wave okay and uh, when, whenever we will connect our capacitor which is okay this here is 61 microfarad so so we will go for 101 and now whenever we will connect it out okay wait we have to go and we have to adjust our okay we we have to connect like this okay and here we can go for some more voltages like 7.39 and uh, okay now we will connect our capacitor okay and also we we, we also need to okay, okay we can increase the frequency now now you can see that all of the part of the signal which is having a very sharp edge okay the very sharp edge that is the above rising edge and falling edges they are just normalized by this capacitor so and if we will increase the capacitance of the if we used to decrease the capacitance of the capacitor then you will see that it is not a, it, it is not able to do anything so here one microfarad is doing nothing now we will go for 10 microfarad now we will start our simulation and it is just normalizing a little bit okay not much more okay okay it is reducing our 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 transition but still we can see the positive edges now we will increase our capacitance to 50 start simulation and here you will see either it is going to normalize yes it is going to reduce the edges and more more are the edges or more sharp the edges are the more frequency the signal has and a huge transition in between the positive and negative cycles so this is called as the low pass filter so here you can see now i will increase the resistance to like uh, 500 then you will see that it will nearly make a linear graph okay now you can see that our edges are just very much low and like if we will go for like 1000 then we will even see the less edges than this one okay now you can see that our edges are, are totally nullified now okay our signal is just a linear line just like the dc voltage so in this way we can use this capacitor as a filter okay as a filter for acr high frequency signals so hopefully you got the concept that how you can use this electrolytic capacitor within the tinkercad so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe